Hello everyone, it's Lauren J. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. I like to do get ready with me style videos using products that are new, new to me or just need a little bit more love in my collection. And today I'm going to be using products that are new, which is pretty exciting and a lot of products that need more love in my collection. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up and how I use it and incorporate it into the makeup I already have, keep watching. Okay guys, so very, very excited I picked up some Chanel. <laughs> so I got the, uh, I guess this is the eco-friendly packaging, but um, this is the order that I made because the fall collection came out. So I did pick up two things from the fall collection. I think I'm going to pick up more um, whenever it comes to the boutiques, but it was online on the US Chanel website. I believe it was on Nordstrom, Saks, all of those places. Um, one of the blushes is still available and it's the one I have and one of the eight blushes is sold out. So I am hoping to pick up the other blush um, when it comes to the boutiques. Anyway, I also picked up one of the uh, eye pigments and I'm actually pretty excited about it. So let's get into this look. Okay guys, so as usual, primer. So I've done the e.l.f. Donut Forget Me primer as a first base. I have layered that with the Chanel Le Beige highlighting powder or highlighting fluid in Sunkissed. I have done my brows with the ABH Dip Brow Gel in Taupe. And I have also done my eyes, so I am cheating a little bit today, but this is how I would normally do my makeup, so it's not actually cheating. I have a uh, primed my eyes with the Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Stick in Copper because I am going for a copper look today. So this is all about not necessarily demonstrating or reviewing the product. It's how I'm going to make it fit into my routine because I buy products to use them. Sometimes I buy them just to look at them and show them off, but this product I bought pretty much to use it. And yes, my face is still incredibly red today. Um, it doesn't hurt, but it is still red. Why is it red? Well, there's a lot that is empowering about becoming older as a woman, and there is a lot that is really frustrating. So we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so Chanel Fall, I am sure that you have seen a thousand videos about this already, but here is the blush. This is the Douceur de Equinox. And this is in the, this is the Blush Harmony in 797 Beige et Coral. And I love the box on this. I think it is so cool. It has the little leaves, on, leaves, 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 leaves on it. <laughs> uh, on this side, it has the one uh, Blush Harmony on this side, and then it has the other one on this side. I've noticed they've done that with their packaging. I don't know if they've been doing it for the last few years, but recently they did that with the, um, with the Delice uh, uh, Pastel de Chanel Quad, they had all the different colors on the box and they did it also with the blush where they had the different colors on the side. And this is just kind of a continuation, just a little bit more elaborate. So this is a bigger packaging than the spring blush. Uh, so it is a little bit thicker. As you see, you get the normal Chanel uh, style component with the CCs on it. And then it doesn't really have the color on the back. It just has the silhouette of the blush. So that's a little bit different. Um, usually it has like the color on it, but the component, like I said, is a little bit thicker because, and the air conditioning is going to go on. That is another part of getting older and being hot all the time is the air conditioning just constantly needs to be going. Um, but here we have the component. This is why it's a little bit thicker because you have this round brush in here. And I have not used this. I might use it today, I don't know, but it's, you know, it's a nice little brush. I usually like Chanel brushes, but the ones that come in the thing, eh, I can give or take. And then you have this little um, component on top and you pull that out. It's just a little plastic component. And then you have this beautiful blush inside. This is exquisite. This is embossed with holiday leaves, so oak leaves, uh, maple leaves, 
And then of course you have the CC in the beige color here. And that does go all the way down. This is a lot flatter than it would seem. It's not like a baked anything. It's very flat in the pan. Um, and the CCs are pressed down into it. Uh, so I have not actually swatched this yet. So we're going to um, we're going to use it very lightly because I love this and I don't want to wreck it. And if I don't end up getting the other one, um, I want to sort of preserve some of this. So I have a thousand peachy blushes, so I don't really need, I didn't need this, but it is, it is stunning and I love fall. I'm here for fall. I know all the summer babes are really upset. I love summer too. This was the first summer in a long time that I really, really enjoyed, but I am a fall girl. I'm ready for fall. Give me a pumpkin spice latte and some fall autumn leaves and I'm, I'm here for it. So give me, give me all the fall colors. Then we have the Ombre Premier Libra. So these are the loose shadows that Chanel just came out with. This is the component. It looks a lot like the um, nail polish component. Um, nothing super special. This is 406 Cedar Quivre. So copper cedar or cedar copper. And it does have the Chanel logo on top and this beautiful black ombre. This is the same if you have one of the Rouge Allure Lax. So this is the liquid lipstick from Chanel. Uh, this is just a tiny little sample one if you have the full size. I don't know if they're glass or not. I don't have a full size one, but it is literally the same uh, design. Not the same component because this is round, but it is the same sort of ombre black design where you can see the color on the bottom. But it is a really beautiful, it has a glass component. Um, and again, you can see the color in it and it does say the color on the bottom, does it? It does say the number on the bottom, but not the color name. So again, this is 406 Cita Cuivre. And this is the polarizing component that everybody is talking about. So you've got the little nubby there. And this is the inside, so it is quite full. And I'm just going to put a bit on the back of my hand. And you can see it there, and then I'm going to just buff it out. And I think you can see there how beautiful it is. It is not super shiny. I, I think even some of these loose shadows might be matte. I have not seen them all in person, just this one, but it is a shimmer, but it is not a super shimmery shimmer. It is more of a satin, and it is one of those shades that is going to be very versatile, not only to be really beautiful and soft on older eyes, but also it could be used on the cheeks as like a highlight or on the noses, like in, you know, just like little highlighting spots. So it is, I think, a really versatile shade, a really versatile product. It is a loose product. There is a lot of pigment in here. Um, these are $40, not cheap, but there is a lot of pigment in them. So um, once you get the hang of how you want to use this and incorporate it into your routine, um, because there are tons of videos out there that will tell you the right way to use this, you need to figure that out for yourself and whether this fits into your routine. But once you do that, I think this will be a really good um, thing to bring into your collection. I'm hoping that it is. I love a copper. Uh, I have blue eyes. I think copper goes great with them. That is why I put the copper down as the base today because this is a very metallic copper and this is very satin copper. And I just kind of want them to accent each other. So as usual, I'm going to start out with my eyes before I do the rest of my base. I'm going to be using my Guerlain Undressed Browns Quad, and I'm going to be going into the matte brown shade here, and I'm going to be using the Singe Beauty E05. And I'm just gonna throw that in the crease lightly and I just want to give you an idea of the difference between the copper in this palette and the copper on the back of my hand so this is the copper shade right here it's very deep and rich 
but as you can see even though this one is a bit more orange they do complement each other very well and I have worn them together. I've been wearing this quad a lot lately. Um, it's become quite a staple for me. Um, it's really beautiful and I uh, just enjoy the amount of looks that I can get out of it. Even though it is like a super neutral basic quad, it is like the perfect fall quad for me. All right, so let's get to the main event and put this on my eyes. And I am going to just tap off some of the excess here. And I'm actually just going to go right on to my eyes. And you can see the difference between that and the tone of the copper that I put on. This is much browner. And I'm going to take the Singe Beauty E04, which is a flatter eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to sweep that and not really sweep it, but kind of dab it all over. And I think you can see how soft, but it is very noticeable. Now this is probably going to be definitely shinier than it would look like just going on a unprimed uh, lid, just a dry lid. Obviously I'm using a shimmer underneath it and it's the same basic color. So I'm going to get more of an impact, but that is why I'm doing that with this. So these shades are actually kind of, um, the powder is actually, I mean, it is powdery, obviously it's a loose shadow, but it is a bit dry. Um, which I think does tend to, and I haven't used loose pigments in a really long time, but um, I think that is going to contribute to any fallout you get because they are, they are loose and they're not going to stick together. Uh, but I don't really see any fallout. Now, if you do just like pull it right out of the component and boom on your eye, yeah, you're gonna get little sprinkles down here. And I have gotten that um, just, you know, like I've only had this for a few days and I'm still learning how, again, I wanna incorporate it into my routine. But yes, I have had a bit of fallout with it. It has been pretty easy to brush away even on, um, even on skin that's already been uh, prepped and primed and foundationed and, and powdered and all of that stuff. It's been pretty easy to, um, to wipe away the fallout. But I think that really gives a pretty, but not like, it's not like I said, a super shiny. It's not like this one where you're going to get a more like metallic color because I'll put this on the outer V of my eye and I'll get a really metallic, really orangey color. Um, but it's, you know, you get that copper, you get a bit of, because it is a more like a woodsy collection, all the, all the colors are named after different types of woods or leaves. Um, so you're getting more of a brown in there. And I think it's just really, really nice and pretty, very soft on the eyes. And I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I was going to, I was thinking of using this on the inner corner, but I think I'm just going to actually leave it as it is, because I do have that copper from Laura Mercier peeking out. Um, and I'm just really liking the way this looks. Uh, next, obviously, is lining my eyes with the Maybelline Hyper Easy Liner in Pitch Brown. And then the Chanel Noir Allure Mascara. Okay, so that is the eyes. I am going to finish them up uh, under the eye after I put the rest of my base on. And yes, I wiped all the um, swatches off the back of my hand, so I'm going to go into my Le Beige Water Fresh Tint in Medium Light. It is has a beautiful finish but it is not going to give me really any coverage and because my face is so red 
I am going to go into my e.l.f. CC camo, uh, whatever, e.l.f. camo CC cream. <laughs> and this one is in the color that is kind of actually just right for me now that I do actually have a tan. And I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit of it. And I'm going to apply it on my fingers almost as a concealer, but not really. Just want to give a little bit of extra coverage over the top. But as you can see, it's a pretty good color match for me right now. In the winter, this is far too dark. But this is going to give me the color and the coverage, and the Chanel Water Fresh is going to help with the finish because the finish on this is not wonderful on its own. It's It can be very heavy. But as you can see, it's giving me coverage. It's covering up those red spots. And I don't necessarily think it needs to be covered covered. I just want even skin tone. As you can see, I've got it on top of my eyebrows. I've got it on my cheeks. I've got it over my lips. Just all those places that on me tend to get super irritated. And for me, it's nice to be able to use my complexion products in different ways as I need them. And see how they incorporate with other things and just enhance the usefulness of the things that I buy. Because I do buy a lot of things that I don't necessarily need. I mean, do I need any of the Chanel and Guerlain products? No, obviously. You can get beautiful makeup at any price point. You can get beautiful makeup at the drugstore. But I love having that luxury experience. And it's not that any of these, these, these products aren't bad. Like, these are beautiful pigmented. The Chanel is a beautiful finish. It makes me feel really luxe. But again, it just doesn't. Some products just don't have that coverage or that oomph that you need that I think um, you can get at a cheaper price point. And um, there are things that you can do to enhance those and still make them useful um, in your collection because you know you're gonna buy them anyway. At least I know I'm gonna buy them anyway. Okay, so now that I've got my under eyes, I'm gonna go back into the Cedar Cleave and I'm going to just get a little bit of this out again. And I'm just going to take a bit on here. And I'm going to throw it under the lid. So this is how I have decided to use this particular uh, Ombre Premier Libre, Ombre Premier Libre, yeah, Ombre Premier Libre, <laughs> on my eyes, under my, I think it looks absolutely beautiful, under the eyes, and I don't like to put stuff under my eyes at all, but it is really pretty, um, and I am going to go into the blush now. Okay, so we're, we're going to go into the blush now, and oy, I don't want to touch it, it's so pretty small little brush brush very compact I don't want to pick up a ton of pigment I'm not trying to get in there and ruin anything but as you can see that's just pressing it in so we're going to put this on the cheeks very subtle, at least the way I'm putting it on. I'm sure if I just dug my brush into there, I would get it out.
But yeah, it is a very pretty beige and coral color. And I have seen other YouTubers use this with, you know, more uh, sophisticated brushes and they have gotten it very pigmented. But as I'm looking at, it's a bit blown out under these lights right here, but as I'm looking at it further away, I can definitely see it on my cheeks. And again, I'm not really pressing and I'm not swiping onto this. Um, I'm just pressing my brush in. And I don't even know how much of that inner beige color I'm getting. I'm getting a lot of the coral. But it is looking very nice. And again, I do have red cheeks right now, so everything is going to make me look super red. But yeah, I think that is very pretty and it does go with the look. So let's just add a little something else. So let's go back into the Envoy Premier Livre. I know someone who speaks French is screaming at me right now. And I'm just gonna do this. Now, I am not the first person to do this. I have seen Jacqueline, uh, hey, it's Jacqueline do this um, with some of the other ones. This is, again, the copper one. I'm just gonna blend it in. Right on top where you would put highlighter. And I think that just adds a little bit of something because this color is, has a bit of, it has a deeper base than you think it does because it's not, again, a true like shimmer shimmer. It's not like a metallic copper, but it does have that shimmer to it, that really satiny beautifulness. And so I think on top of the blush, it just gives you a little bit of extra luminescence. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I, I just think it it's not like boom blush topper, but I, I think it's really pretty in the for the copper one. I think that the one um, I'm thinking the one in Acacia, um, which is more of a pinky purpley one. I'm thinking that will look also very beautiful as a blush topper. Um, I want to try that again. Hopefully, if it comes to boutiques and I can order from the essay that I usually order from, that I can get that one from her. Um, I don't foresee these selling out. Um, people seem to be pretty divided on them. I think they're pretty cool. I love it when Chanel just, just does something a little bit different and um, like seeing how I can make it work for me. I get it if you don't want to spend $40 on something to see if it, you can make it work it, obviously. Uh, don't do that. Um, but they are fun. I think that's also the reason why I really like the Waterfresh stuff. Um, not only because it has a beautiful finish, but because the blushes um, are interesting to work with, interesting formulas, interesting components. They look really cool. They feel really cool. They kind of make you feel like a makeup artist. I am nowhere near close to being a makeup artist, but they make you feel like you're doing something like very tactile. I'm just going to finish this off using my Hourglass Powder in Diffused Light. I have not put any bronze on. I might. I think I am going to put just a little bit of bronze on. So this is the Physician's Formula Butter Donut Bronzer. Again, I've got no problem using my drugstore next to my high end and the luxury. It does not bother me a bit. That added just a little bit of something. This is this is a very, very light bronze, um, but it is it is nice. So for lips, I am going to go into Dior. Ooh. I didn't get any of the new lippies. I don't have any of the Rouge Coco blooms. I have the really, really old Rouge Coco formula, the, the shine, the Rouge Coco shine from when it first came out. Like I don't obviously don't use them, don't put them on my mouth, but um, I still have the older ones. Um, so I haven't really jumped into the blooms or the flashes. Um, it's just not my thing right now. I have jumped onto the Rouge Allures, the poppy ones, but 
Anyway, I am going to go into the Dior. This is the Dior Addict Lip Shine Shine Lipstick. This is the one in Canage. This is just a beautiful shiny fall color. It's part of the regular line. This is the limited edition case that came out for summer. And because it's in the Canage design, I put Canage in it. I think that looks really pretty and fall all by itself a little bit uh, deep on the lips. Now, if you want to add a little something, and I do, I'm going to add the Rouge Coco Gloss in Burnt Sugar. This is 724. I'm just going to put a bit on the center of the lips. I think that just makes my lips look a little bit plumper. Again, there's nothing plumping about these except for the shine that they give you. So there's nothing in it that's stinging or cooling or anything. It's just straight up the formula and it's beautiful. A little bit of the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. Okay guys, so hands are washed, hair is down, necklace is on, and this is the finished look. I hope you like it, I really do. I am so excited to be using some of the new Chanel products. I love Chanel. I love the luxury experience of buying Chanel, <laughs> uh, whatever you think of that. And um, it's just something that's always really special to me. Super happy to be able to have this beautiful piece in my collection. Uh, again, I think the embossing is just exquisite and above and beyond. I think these are going to be very fun and versatile for me to use in my collection. Again, I know these are a bit polarizing, but it is what it is. Um, I think there is sort of an assumption about who the core Chanel customer is, and I think that that is changing, and I think that not everyone is sort of ready for that, um, but that's okay. I don't mind the way that it changes. Not every collection can be a quad and lippies and like the same 10 things that every other brand is putting out, and um, that's okay. It's okay if they try new things and do new things. They have been around for a very long time. They have done a ton of different things, formulations, reformulations, introductions, retirements. I am fine. I'm not here to defend Chanel. Chanel does not need me to defend it. It is a billion dollar company that can be very problematic. I'm not here to defend Chanel and tell you these are the best thing ever. They're not. Um, I'm just telling you how I am incorporating them into my routine because I do enjoy the experience of purchasing from Chanel and experiencing their products. So if that doesn't work for you, that's totally cool. I also like this Guerlain Quad. This was $85. It does not need to be $85, but I am using it regularly in my routine and I will be using this. So. Um, and I also love to use my Lorac, my Physicians Formula, my Maybelline, all of those things. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Any of those would be welcome, and all of them would be deeply appreciated. And I will see you in the next one, guys.